Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about division. So say we have uh, the number 4 and it's being divided into say 15. So the way it works is you ask yourself what's the biggest number that we can multiply 4 by so that the answer is still less than 15. So 4 times 4 is 16 so that's too big but 4 times 3 is 12 so we can put a 3 here and then we multiply 3 times 4 is 12 and then we put a little line like this we put a minus sign and we subtract 5 minus 2 is 3 1 minus 1 is 0 so we don't write it then you can come up here and put an R and then a 3 so all of these things have names in this process so the number 3 is called the quotient I always think of the quotient as kind of like the answer that you get. This number here is called the remainder. That's why we use the letter R. So a remainder. And uh, the 4 here, the one that's going into the 15, this is called the divisor. So it's called the divisor. And the 15 also has a special name. This one's called the dividend dividend. So this was a really basic example of division. Let's do one more example where it's a little bit more challenging. So let's take uh, 23 and divide that into 687. Another way to read this is we're taking uh, 687 and we're dividing it by, by 23. Okay, so then you look at the 6 and you ask yourself, hey, can 23 go into 6? Um, no, no it can't. So then you look at the 68. Can 23 go into 68? Well, if you do 23 times 3, let's see, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6. Oh, just barely too big, right? I mean, it's 69, so it's 1 bigger than 68. So let's try 23 times 2. So 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. So 46. So 2 will work. So 23 goes into 68 2 times. And you put the 2 above the 8 because you're dividing into 68, right? If you were dividing into 6, you'd put it up here, but we're not. We're dividing into 68 so it goes above this number. Then you perform the multiplication. So 2 times 23, we know that's 46 because we did it on the side. You put a minus sign and you subtract, so you get 2 and 2, and then you bring down the 7. And now you ask the same question, how many times does 23 go into 227? Well, if you do 23 times 10, and you work it out and you go through it, you'll get 230. So it's a little bit too big. So let's try something smaller. So let's try 23 times 9. So let's see, 9 times 3 is 27. So we write down our 7 and carry the 2. 9 times 2 is 18. You add 2, you get 20. So 207, so that'll work. So 9 goes here, and then we multiply 9 times 23 is 207. You write your line, you subtract. 7 minus 7 is 0, 2 minus 0 is 2. This is just 0 here, 2 minus 2, so you don't write it. There's nothing to bring down, and so we're done. So the answer is 29, remainder 20. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.